Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and this lesson is on size of equal groups. This is a pretty fast lesson, so we'll be done in a few minutes here. So our comma core strand is there. So how can we model division problems to find how many go in each group? Okay, so don't forget, uh, you can find all your lessons at uh, www.mrmathblog.com. Okay, so here's uh, an example here. So Heather has 12 dolls and plans to put uh, an equal number of, uh, of her dolls in each of three baskets. How many dolls will go in each basket? So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how many dolls, uh, the question's asking how many dolls will go in each basket, and then circle the numbers that we're going to use. Okay, well, there's 12 dolls, and we're going to put them in three baskets. So there, we're going to circle those guys right there. Okay, so how we're going to model this is, uh, with some counters here. So when we multiply, we uh, we put equal groups together, and then when we divide, we separate them into equal groups. And that's what we're going to do here, uh, using counters and circles and squares. And so we can divide uh, to find the number in each group. So that's what we're going to try. So let's use 12 counters here. So I just there's my 12 counters right there, and I think I counted 12 when I did this. All right, and then uh, step two, we're going to draw three circles to talk about the three baskets, and we're going to place one counter at a time in each circle until all counters are used. Okay, so here's three circles right here, and let's go ahead and put uh, one counter at a time in each circle. So there's one uh, at a time in each circle, so there's one. I'm going to just keep going, just bear with me here. Whoops, I didn't grab it. Let me grab that guy right there. Let me grab that guy. So now they okay now they all have one and so we're gonna uh, put another one there put another one over here okay and we're just make sure one at a time in each circle until we're all done with those 12 counters okay so they all have two now so now I'm gonna put three in all of them okay so there's one right there and then there's one for this one right here and it looks like we can put one more in each one of them right there so it looks like that uh, these circles are gonna have four counters in each circle right there yep four counters in each circle so the remember that the counters are the uh, are the dolls that uh, Heather has right here so let me move that up right there so there's four counters in each group so there will be four dolls in each basket okay nice and easy huh well let's try one more of these you guys we're almost done already so Harley has 15 marbles he plans to put an equal number of marbles in each of five boxes so how many marbles are in each box? Okay, we're, we're kind of going to do this a little bit different, but kind of the same, you guys. Let's draw five squares to show five boxes. Okay, so there's five squares right there. And then here we're going to uh, draw, uh, draw one counter in each square to show the marbles. Okay, and then we're going to continue drawing one counter in each square one at a time in each box over here until all 15 are drawn. Okay, so I'm going to do... Uh, just count them as we go along. So this, here's here's one, here's two. I'm going in each one. Here's three, here's four, here's five. Okay, let's do it again. Here's six, here's seven, here's eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do one more. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so let me move that up a little bit right there. Okay, so there's our, our five boxes. So here um, uh, there are three counters in each group. So there will be three marbles in each box. Okay, all right, you guys, I hope that made sense and take care.